Good morning. Good morning, Josan. 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 Good morning, Miss Cannon. Um, Yemi, right? And yes. Actually, the full name is not Yemi. Can you tell us how to pronounce your name? It's Jamilet, and I always okay. like to tell people that you can't compare it with an omelet, right. and then it just sounds J at the beginning. So it's Jamilet Cano. Okay. So where are you from, actually? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Wow, that's an exotic city. It's an exotic country, <laughs> isn't it? So, uh, what 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 brings you to Hong Kong? Of course, everybody knows uh, when you join our program, Good Morning Talk Show, you must have been um, in entrepreneurship in Hong Kong and came from overseas and got help from Invest Hong Kong before. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Tell us what you do and why you come to Hong Kong. Well, I came originally, Michael, in 2008 as an exchange student at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I was studying international relations and I just loved the city. I was always curious about Asian culture, how the people look being from Mexico. And I don't know why, but my friends used to call me Jamisan or are you Chinese? I guess it's just my eyes. So I grew up with that idea that I wanted to come to Asia. So when I had the opportunity, I came with the exchange program and I haven't left ever since. That's great. Okay, so uh, as I learned from Invest Hong Kong, you're an entrepreneur um, and you have started a few companies already and Lauda is your second company, isn't it, in Hong Kong? Tell us what Lauda does, how loud it is. <laughs> I wish it to be very, very loud and colorful as you see, my one of my favorite colors is pink, right. part of my brand. And louder, yes. I was, and I do have to go a little bit back in my history, which I started dancing ballet when I was five. So I grew up as a ballerina, a professional ballet dancer. So the stage and everything that had to do with expressing my emotions with my movement was very strong growing up. Great. Okay. Well, I know you have prepared a PowerPoint to go for a little bit background of the company, but. Uh, before we do that, can you tell us uh, what's the difficulties of moving from overseas or being an expat to do business in Hong Kong? How Do you find this is easy or you find this is, there are a couple of uh, different areas that the entrepreneur from overseas should really aware of in Hong Kong? I would say that Hong Kong has been a blessing for me. I came without a plan, to be fair. Well, with a plan of, okay, I have this much budget yep. and I'm gonna give myself three months. If it doesn't work, what's the worst that could happen? So I, that would be my first advice for entrepreneurs anywhere in the world. Know that your plan B, the worst thing that could happen, perhaps it's not the, the, the worst, worst thing. So for me it was, okay, go back to Mexico and perhaps I would have to live with my parents a little bit longer. So it's not as <laughs> bad as we think. True. So I came without that, and but I came with the openness of meeting people and Hong Kong has been great for that. I don't believe that every city in the world is like this, mm -hmm. but by networking, you already have one step forward. And then there's obviously organizations like Invest Hong Kong that are there to support you, to give you the guidance, to give you that hand that you need and to connect you as they did with us. So I, I would have to say that Hong Kong is, is a blessing for entrepreneurs if you are if you're open to do the work, but also if you're open to not be afraid of speaking up and asking for help. Right. If you don't ask for help, it's, it's difficult for anyone everywhere. Okay. Um, of course, I mean, Invest Hong Kong can actually give you a lot of support, like finding you a good lawyer, uh, helping you opening accounts in the bank. That is not easy in Hong Kong, I can tell you. It's kind of difficult for uh, overseas entrepreneur, but comparatively to China or other countries, it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. Well, um, of course, secondly, is finding you clients. Find, finding clients in Hong Kong is difficult for entrepreneurs from overseas. They are new to the country. They need network. They need to know people. Uh, okay, I know your company also do a lot of events. Can you tell us more? Well, this is, this is my company, Mojo. As I said before, communication with motion, emotion, and impact. A little background on that. A lot of people say that emo emotions give you motion. I want to know, I want to say that it's the other way around, that when you move, you okay. feel, and when you feel, 
you can showcase a bigger impact in the way that you communicate despite the channel. It doesn't matter if it's written or verbal communication. When we have those feelings and emotions on the paper or the way that we're expressing, people are going to understand the stories better. So that's, that's why I like this philosophy of the company. And we already said hello. Thank you for having me today. I'm just going to skip these slides because it's already what we discussed. What we yep. do, I like to use a lot of color to create confidence and to be creative in the process. So everything that we decide to do has to be a little bit of fun because when you're learning, if you're not having fun, we all know that we don't learn as fast and perhaps things don't stick the way that you want it. So this is the team that helps me so much, much more in other fields. So in terms of design, the copywriting, because we put copywriting outside, uh, there's features in magazine or blogs, blog posts. So they are there at the back scene to always help me create this loudness of the brand. And they're also all over around the world. So this is also showcasing how I was able to pivot in a way that not being afraid of not having a team physically with me, I just decided, okay, we are everywhere overseas. Let's make the best out of it in different time zones. So we work with the US and Canada and here in Southeast Asia. I mentioned we do quite one-on-one -on -one coaching and group sessions in different type of industries uh, with teams, if individuals, whoever, it doesn't matter just anyone that wants to develop further their communication and soft skills. And that also takes us to the events, as you were saying. We do and, and help people organize events, but not only on the logistics part. You can also do with curating speakers. So finding someone to speak at your event that would showcase that topic that you want. Someone to be an entertainer to develop the theme or the design behind that event, because that's part of how do we communicate that experience to our audience. And now with the online medium that there's so many elements out there, the new softwares, perhaps we have to learn how to set up our stage. As you know, Michael, lighting, the backdrops, all of these little elements that online is also very important, the audio. So we give, we give our clients a consultancy if they want in terms of event management or just, as I said, curating and copywriting and all that has to do with brand development. Some of the events that we've been doing in the past, corp conferences, corporate events mainly. Okay, uh, Ms. Cannon, can you tell me, over the last few years you opened uh, this company, you must have uh, helped a few celebrities or uh, organizations. Can you tell us your experience is there anything very special happened in the past, especially when you host an event in Hong Kong? Where something you really want to tell us? Yeah, and um, part of, a, of the other services, as I mentioned with Louder, is that also developing my speaking brand. So being a speaker, but mainly would be to moderate, interview and MC events with different organizations. And I have had the chance to interview a, a few of the very expert individuals around the world, which this, this is only happening because of the online medium that we're utilizing nowadays, but face-to-face, -face, but also online. And I can show you a couple of their faces. This is me. And a few, a few photos so you can see on, on the job how it looks. You see, I work also with the Hong Kong Trade Development Council where they have a Startup Express pitch competition and with the Start Me Up Festival with Invest Hong Kong, which this year we turn, uh, well, they transition also to open it to the world. So we've been doing a lot of recording. So from live MC to virtual MC, and now it's almost like a TV host where you have to talk to that camera recording. And it's been a great experience. Wow, it sounds really interesting. Um, you know, being a female entrepreneur in Hong Kong, you actually really contribute to your community. Um, but I see that you are more active in the expat community right now. I'm sure that you were studying in Chinese U. You have lots of Chinese friends, right? The local Hong Kong friends. Is there any plan after the pandemic? The pandemic is getting better now. We will go back to normal. So is there any new planning for you? Any expansion? Anything you want to do with the local community? Yes, you're actually right, Michael. I do have a lot of local clients 
it's funny enough that when it comes to collaboration, obviously my biggest collaboration with the local community was the Invest Hong Kong. Mm. But in terms of local clients, I work with a lot of Hong Kongers that work in different companies in different industries and their management has been visionary enough to understand that development and learning of their staff is super important also for agility and productivity. So most most of the people that I work with in terms of the coaching and the group sessions are locals. So I can see that it's important to keep on expanding and, and working with them because we both have different perspectives and different cultures, which makes the sessions very, very rich. Absolutely. Well, okay then. Well, thank you for joining us today and good luck to your business. And I hope I will meet you again later with your new expansion. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's such a pleasure. And see you too. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.